So, you want to be a better sniper, huh? What is up, my good people? It's your boy Jay Suave here, back at you with some more Rogue Company content. And in this video, I'm going to be going over my top 10 tips that is going to make you a better sniper within the game of Rogue Company. If you've been rocking with me for a while, you can probably already tell from my previous tips and advice videos that I'm not super like technical with it or anything like that. I'm very, I live by the motto of simple but effective. And this video is going to be no different everybody loves watching a good sniping montage you know something about a sniper going up against fully automatic weapons whether that's assault rifles or submachine guns and absolutely wrecking them so why not be the person creating the montage versus always being the person watching the montage and that's what my goal is for this video is to help you become the person creating the montage there's a lot of things that i don't think people think about when it comes to sniping there's a lot of things that you see going on that you really don't recognize or even the person that's playing they don't even recognize that they're doing these things that's making them be an effective sniper and so my goal is to point out those things to you you know make you aware of maybe something that you didn't realize you were doing and that you want to get better at or something that you haven't been doing in general so sit back relax hit that like button for your boy click subscribe if you haven't already subscribed to the channel and we're gonna go ahead and roll into it let's become better snipers y'all Let's get it. Alrighty guys, tip number one is gonna to be to always take the shot. Do not doubt yourself, do not second guess yourself. If you feel like that enemy is in your crosshairs, pull the trigger. Do you know how many times that I have gotten a snipe, whether it's a down or injuring somebody at a split second notice of pulling the trigger? That's how you wanna be, you wanna be reactive as soon as you see somebody move within your scope you see a little little bitty move and they got red above their name pull the trigger do you know how many times i have gotten down so, i mean look at this right here imagine if i was just sitting there trying to line them up doubt myself not even take the shot i would not have had those downs just a moment ago so always take the shot you never know what's gonna happen and to be honest with you a lot of my clips and highlights look at that collateral from taking the shot i'm not trying to line up a collateral i'm not trying to you know what i mean i am taking the shot i see movement i shoot that is why i feel like i'm an effective sniper is because if it moves and it's not on my team i'm taking the shot and guess what even if you miss guess what do it again because again if you're always taking the shot you're making little corrections that you don't even know and you may end up getting the down so remember y'all always take the shot you never know what's gonna happen you never know how many downs you're gonna get always take the shot you don't want to miss those opportunities and that's gonna lead into tip number two don't always look for the perfect shot so there are instances where you're gonna want to go for the headshot like if you got somebody that is running in a straight line somebody that's just sitting still yes why waste an extra bullet you know or the chance of them getting to cover by shooting them to the body what i'm talking about is like if somebody runs up on you you know what i mean hold hurry up take that shot you might get a hit and guess what now you're setting yourself up to be able to down them with your pistol in addition to that you may be setting your teammates up to get the kill as well so like if you see your teammates fighting somebody and you're just watching through the scope <laughs> something's wrong with you help your teammates out you know what i mean you may end up getting the down or like i said they may end up getting the down and strike out if you're scanning the objective area you know if somebody runs out split second take the shot especially with somebody like phantom um where they don't they don't get their health back as fast that is very viable to your teammates so do not always feel like you have to get a headshot to be an effective sniper because you're helping out in many ways Alrighty guys, tip number three is going to be rolling before and after shooting. When we talk about rolling before shooting, what I mean by that is let's say somebody sees you in that instance right there. Somebody sees you first. As a sniper, you want to try to roll, you know what I mean, to get into cover or you want to be rolling and trying to switch to your uh, secondary, uh, so your pistol, right? And the reason for that is you don't want to be caught out in the open trying to scope somebody down who has an automatic rifle or even a semi-automatic rifle for um for that matter and then the after your shot so let's say you take a shot at somebody right 
and you miss or you injure them there are some people that will continue to shoot at you they will not care that you have a sniper out and so you want to make sure you roll out of the way that way you are not leaving yourself open as a target um, especially when you're going up against another sniper as well that's very important you don't want to just sit there and shoot and then stand still you're making yourself an easy target so get into the habit of rolling before and after your shots you'll see your survivability will actually go up a lot um, especially if you are aware of where your cover is and your surroundings you'd be very surprised at just how effective you can be and how frustrating you can be to other people they may run out of bullets that gives you a chance to switch to your secondary or again they may have to reload because they're running out of bullets and that gives you a chance to go ahead and get a headshot off on them Alrighty, i'm gonna tell you right now it's okay to hard scope it is okay to hard scope. We got this notion, you know, when it comes to sniping in video games that if you hard scope, you're not a good sniper. It has to be a quick scope. It has to be a no scope. That is not true. When you are <laughs> sniping, you are looking to be accurate. That is what it's all about. You cannot be effective if you are not accurate. So if you're running around thinking that you have to no scope and quick scope everything, and you probably wonder why, you know what I mean, that you're not getting no kills, that's probably why. If your target is standing still, if they do not see you, or if you are scanning the battlefield, what are you quick scoping for? Hard scope those areas that you know people are gonna be running at the beginning of the game. You know what I'm saying? Hard scope on the objective. That is your job, is to injure or get knockdowns as a sniper without putting yourself in harm's way. So if you're running around just trying to quick scope, how effective are you for your team? You're not getting downs and you're getting killed? What are we doing, good people? So, hard scoping is okay. Just know that there are going to be times that you have to quick scope. Number five, don't look for the highlight reel. The highlight reel will come. You are just trying to be effective. You are trying to get snipes. You know what I mean? Like, let it happen. And when I tell you that, if you're not looking for the highlight reel, when you get like those crazy snipes in a row, you know what I mean? You're down in people and it's a crazy moment. It feels so good. Let the highlights create himself. You know what I mean? You are out there just trying to, like I said, be effective. You are just trying to do your job as a sniper. Let them just be in the moment. You know what I mean? Don't think about like, oh man, can I put this on YouTube? Oh snap, I'm, I'm streaming. Oh, I'm not getting no good clips. Trust me they will happen naturally you know what i'm saying if you're incorporating the tips that i'm giving you trust me the highlights are gonna happen i don't just i don't go out there looking for highlights you know what i mean i'm looking to have a good game a good game meaning i'm trying to win i'm not trying to be the reason that we lost i'm trying to have a you know a good amount of damage a good amount of uh, downs you know what i'm saying like i'm trying to just be out there to help my team win um, I snipe just to, you know, I, I have fun sniping and whatnot. So highlight reels, I don't go out there looking for them, but I expect them if that makes sense because I'm out there trying to be effective. So don't go out there looking for the highlight reel. Okay, guys, this one is huge. Number six, make slight adjustments before you shoot. This even applies after you've taken the shot. When you shoot and you miss and you're in an active gunfight, zoom out let off that trigger do not ads because what you're going to do is you're trying to center your screen on wherever your target is and nine times out of ten that's where your crosshairs are going to be um, when you're sniping additionally what you'll notice is when i'm scoped in on somebody before i shoot if you look i'm chain i'm like making a slight correction at the last minute because you know targets are moving things are happening very fast and so you know i want to make sure that i have them in my scope so don't automatically shoot just know you need to be making self corrections as you're going through the motions and that'll become muscle memory as you get better with sniping Alrighty guys, here's another big one and I touched on it a little earlier in the video, but understand common points of travel, you know, especially at the beginning of the game where people come running out, understand where people like to go, understand where the objective is and understand, you know, what routes need to be taken to be able to get there. You know what I mean? Um, that is going to be very, very advantageous to you as a sniper. If you know the map well enough to know where people are going to be coming from. Um, additionally, you will already be in position. You'd be very surprised at how many times like I'll be looking at, you know, all right, people usually come this way or somebody should be coming this way because we have the objective and they need it. You'd be very surprised 
<laughs> and how many times I get, you know what I mean, downs and elims because people are coming to those common routes of travel. And I'm just sitting there waiting, posted up. As you can see here, I'm scoping that area where people normally are. If there is a flank or possibility of a flank, I'm checking behind me as well. Factory, this is a very good example. People like to come running behind those little boxes off to the right side there. And then also people like to climb up on that box as well. Being aware of where people are trying to go and always go definitely works in your favor. Alrighty, you probably already guessed that this one was going to be in the video. Adjust your sensitivity and settings, specifically your scope sensitivity. Um, and honestly, probably even like your vertical and horizontal uh, sensitivity as well, because that is going to affect like your hip fire capability. So that is going to uh, that is going to affect, you know, your ability to be able to look in the direction of where, you know, you may be taking fire or, you know, I mean, where an enemy may have ran past you very quickly or something like that. That is going to affect you being able to put your sights on the target as well. So um, definitely adjust your sensitivity. Um, get in there play with the settings make sure that they are um, comfortable for you make sure they're good to go you don't want to be in a position where you may be aiming too slow or aiming too fast so that is definitely a big one get in the shooting range that way you can test it out and see how it feels for you because it is going to be a big factor alrighty this one is very simple don't expect to be elite right away I don't want you to start off, you know, I don't want you to see this video and be like, oh, I'm about to go kill it because I got those swab tips. And then your first game, you out there getting wrecked, you know what I mean? And then that deters you from wanting to be a sniper. If you're just starting out, you're not going to be great. Let me tell you, at the beginning, when I first started playing Road Company, even a few months in, I was horrible at sniping. I was horrible at sniping. I was horrible at shotgunning. I never thought that I was going to be good at either one until I said, you know what? I got to evolve my game. I like sniping. Who doesn't like to snipe, right? So I was like, all right, I got to put into the, I got to put the time in. I got to practice. I went to the shooting range. I got in games and just started doing it, especially in team deathmatch where there's a lot of more targets. You know, those two additional bodies really make a difference. And I got better and I got more comfortable with it. So take the tips that I'm giving you and make sure that you get out there, you practice. And guess what? Eventually you'll be elite, baby. I promise you. And then the final tip, y'all, understand what your role is as a sniper. You should not be out there running around as if you got a shotgun or a submachine gun or something like that. You should be playing back. You should be picking off people. You should be injuring people, getting those downs and whatnot, helping your teammates out when they're in a gunfight. That is your role. You should be playing back. You should have the least amount of deaths on the team. As a sniper, that's probably the number one thing. You should have the least amount of deaths. If you are moving around, you're moving around with your pistol in hand. You're trying to maybe get into a better position. Maybe the spawns have flipped. Something of that nature. Something should be causing you to move around, but you should still be looking to play back. You know what I mean? Are there going to be instances where you get rushed or all of a sudden the team, the whole team feels like they're around you? Absolutely. But you should not be out there just running around going crazy. Unless you're elite. You're dope. You know what I mean? I don't know. You got an aim bot. You're crazy with the mouse and keyboard. I don't know. You know what I mean? If you can do that, then by all means do it. But understand your personal limitations when it comes to sniping within the game itself. All right, y'all, that is going to be it. Those are my 10 tips that I think will help you improve as a sniper. If I missed any tips, definitely let me know in the comments section because, hey, if I ain't say it and you tell me, then that means I can probably implement that into my game as well and get better as a sniper. As always, man, I appreciate all the support. You know what I mean? Um, August, September was kind of like my, I would say my least active months um, since I've been back into the country again, just dealing with personal things with my dad and whatnot. So, you know, I am looking to get back on the ball with the videos. I'm mixing in Overwatch 2. I'm having a lot of fun playing that game now, but definitely don't expect road company to go away anytime soon we're almost at 2500 subscribers man it feels amazing almost at 100 followers on twitch let's keep it rolling till next time y'all peace let me up i'm gone boy i'm out of there i'm probably about to die though there or not oh man smoke screen hold up hold up Hold up. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm out of there. Wait a minute. I'm gone.